Hello and welcome to the session in which we would look at CPA questions that deals with consolidation. Consolidation is an important topic on the CPA exam. So if you don't know consolidation, don't sit for the exam yet. So if you're a CPA candidate and you are not comfortable with consolidation, most likely you have a CPA review course. That's great. But ThoughtHatLectures.com can help you understand this topic a little bit more in depth. I'll explain the material as this is the first time you are looking at it in contrast to a CPA review course where they assume you already know the material. You would learn the material with me. You will add your knowledge. Then you would use your CPA review course. Then you will pass the CPA exam. So this is how you would use my material, especially for consolidation. Many schools don't teach consolidation. And if they do, do teach it, they may, they may not do a good job. And if they do a good job, you may not have paid attention. So that's why. Far hat lectures can compensate all those gaps in your education. The risk with, with me is one month of subscription. The potential return is passing the exam. Are you willing to take one month of subscription risk to find out whether I can help you understand the material better? And if not for anything, take a look at my website to find out how well your university is doing on the CPA exam. Now, also connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Let's take a look at this exercise to see how we will approach something like this on the exam day. On January 1st, parent company acquired 30% of sub company. Outstanding stock for 800,000, so they paid 800,000. Year one, the subsidiary had an income of 200,000 and paid dividend of 60,000. So far, so good. So 30% means we're using the equity method. On January 1st, year two, parent company acquired an additional 45% of the sub company for 2,025,000. So be careful, you were at 30%, then it's an additional 45%. So now we already purchased 75% of this company. We are in control. So what happened is we moved from non-controlling to a controlling interest. The fair value of the sub on January 1st year two was 4.5 million. What is the amount of gain that the parent company should record in year two? So that's that's the question. That's the question. They could ask us what's the value of the investment at the end of year one. They can ask us different questions here, but they're asking us what should be recorded in year two. So again, the key is if you read the problem carefully, you will notice we went from a 30% interest in the sub to 75. So we went from non-controlling from 30% to 75. Remember, 50% plus will have a control over the company, which we will have control over the company. So this is what we have. We had an equity investment and now we have control. Now we have to make a fair value adjustment. What is the fair value adjustment? It means we have to record the investment at fair value, recording a gain or a loss in comparison to the prior period. Okay, well, let's, let's go through the steps. So first, what happened in year one? Well, we purchased the company. We purchased the company for 800,000. This is what, this is the original cost of our investment. The company made a profit. The subsidiary made a profit of 200,000. Well, what happened is if they made a profit, net income of 200,000, we're going to take 200,000 times 30%. And that's going to give us, we're going to add $60,000 to our investment. This is for year one. Then the subsidiary paid $200,000 in dividend. We're going to get, uh, you know, $60,000 in dividend, $60,000 in dividend. We're going to get 30% of that, which is 18,000. Well, that's, we're going to reduce our investment by 18,000. So by the end of the year, our investment is worth 242,000. They could ask you this question. What's the value of your investment at the end of year one? Okay, so this is the balance end of year one. They're asking you what amount what amount of the gain should we record in year two? That's the question. So what happened from year one to year two, the nature of the investment have changed, went from non-controlling to a controlling interest. Now we have to use the fair value. What does that mean? It means we have to take the fair value of the subsidiary company, 4.5 million. This is what they tell us, the fair value multiplied by 30%. Now our investment would be recorded at 30 at 30 percent and let's do so whoops let's go back here let's get the calculator and take 4.5 million times 0.3 that's 1,350,000 let's keep this calculator we might need it 
one million oops one million three hundred and fifty thousand so this is the value of the investment when we purchase the investment now we have a controlling interest our interest our it should be basically the value is one one million three hundred and fifty the question is what do we need to do to go from eight eight hundred and forty two thousand to one million three hundred and fifty there's a difference here and obviously we have a gain obviously we have a gain so we have to adjust our investment to that gain and what's the amount of the gain it's the difference between them and if we take one million three hundred and fifty minus eight hundred and forty two thousand will give us 508 this gain could be a gain could be a loss this gain will have to be adjusted as a fair value adjustment so basically what amount of the gain should record 500 508 and the answer is d as in david so this is how we come up with 508 so they could ask you what is the amount of the balance at the end of the year what's the balance of january 1st so you have to be careful how you approach these problems and this is why farhatlectures.com i can help you understand consolidation if i can help you in any topic consolidation governmental accounting is my specialty as well as other things but consolidation is many students use me for consolidation if not for anything if you don't benefit anything from my subscription except consolidation it's worth it good luck study hard consider subscribing and stay safe.